In the 19th century, if you wanted to play the largest pipe organ in the world, you'd have had to come here to Holy Trinity Cathedral, Leopaya in Latvia, to this huge 131-stop mechanical organ. It's still the largest unaltered mechanical pipe organ in the world, originally built in 1779 by Conteers, and then finally in 1885, Gruneberg worked on it and made it into this huge organ we see here today. The first thing you'll notice about it are the different coloured stop knobs, which all relate to different ventils of different keyboards. We have four keyboards altogether, Oberwerk, Brustwerk, Hauptwerk and an Echowerk. All individual keyboards and manuals and then a pedal board on the floor. So as you can see all the different stops are different colours which relate to different ventils for each manual. The ventils allow the wind to each rank of pipes in that colour. Very simple system, complicated by the number of stops. So for example on the Oberwerk, the top manual, if I draw some of the white stops, with the ventil not drawn, nothing will sound. If I draw the ventil, those stops come on. Similarly on the rest of the manuals, on the Hauptwerk, no stops. So I have four different ventils, one for the white stops, one for the purple stops, and the other ventil and so on and so forth. So I can prepare sounds and change them quickly and also get rid of sounds as well. It's such a huge instrument that the stops are based on very large pipe work indeed. So we begin with the basis of a 32 foot on the uh, Hauptwerk, which is just a manual sound. And then this builds up from that upwards through the ranks, plus the mixtures. And then we also have the reeds with this huge and that's just five or six stops on one manual a huge sort of basis the Brustwerk similarly is based on a 32 foot planum sound which ends up with a, an organ sound which is at the front of the organ As you can hear, the organ's being restored bit by bit at the moment, so not everything is available of all these stops. An interesting feature of this organ is that some of the pipes have free reeds like a harmonium. So on the top manual we have these two stops which are controlled by this pedal. This cuts and adds the wind as needed, which affects the volume but without affecting the pitch. So with the pedal down, there's no wind, so no sound, but as I add the wind, I can bring up the volume. just like a, a harmonium and there it's 16 and and they disappear to almost nothing without the pitch really being affected the same on the Hauptwerk we have a clarinet which is also a free read and again on the bottom manual there's a Vox Humana as well uh, same idea that one's not been restored. The pedal division is another massive division with five of its own ventils. It has three 32 foots, two flues and a reed. To there. Um, the E ventil has a lot of the lighter wind, including high reed. Um, D ventil is via low on string bass. With a, another reed and A has the louder uh, reeds and principles. We also have to have on the main organ a pneumatic lever. Without it it's impossible to push the notes down, they're so heavy. We have to do this to assist. We have a coupler between the two manuals, from that one to that one, and which pulls it down mechanically with the pneumatic lever. Also, these green stops on the left, originally they would have been bells to allow people downstairs who were pumping the organ to know when to start. There's one bell to say start pumping the organ and another bell to say stop. They've been adapted now to be a light switch and a motor on and off. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking around this organ. It's a huge organ, an incredible place and extremely beautiful. So this is the organ of Holy Trinity Cathedral, Leopaya.